what I just finished watching is people of, from the conservative party taking a vote whether women should have the right to choose to have an abortion or not if the government should step in. I've looked at what the government has done and I just get disgusted. Who are they to tell women what to do in the first place? As I see the one person from the conservative party go up there telling that these women, that what they're doing is taking children and killing them. I sat there and listened to all the shenanigans as they're all MPs from your NDP party complaining to your liberal party saying this is right or that's wrong to where all of them take a vote. What decisions have they made right? Who are they to judge on a crack baby's life? Who doesn't have a chance? Children that are born at four ounces, they have no idea of what they're talking about and they're part of the government. That's why they have a group corrupt called the Children's Aid. Our government is a crime and a shame of just wanting to control people. For the Conservative Party to take that vote, they would only have to be able to do it through the Ontario government to where they hold the majority. It is a disgrace either way you look at it, as they've lied through this whole year of everything that they've done. One trillion dollars missing. I'm getting ready to come out in Toronto nonstop. June is almost here. They're going, will you be at the rallies? Of course I'll be at your rallies. They're going, will you be doing this? I go, I will be wanting to do a lot of things. I am a person against the government for the last 20 years. There isn't a city hall that I couldn't figure out or understand or a city how to fix it. As I have people coming up to me every day going, do you know what to do for poverty? Of course I do. I know it, but your politicians don't. They use this as a crutch. They use the pandemic as a crutch. They use controlling people with abortions as a crutch, telling people they can't travel if they don't take the shot, telling people they can't do this. Well, we have people allergic, as we have people have reactions, as we have them fully not safe to begin with. I myself have so many problems in these areas, I'm never going to take one regardless what it's supposed to do. I'll take my chances like I have for the last 55 years. Let's get ready for a real person coming out here. Am I against abortions? I don't have a right to tell a woman what to do. I don't have a right to tell a person who to vote for, who not to vote for. But just look at what you have voted for. How could you want the same of listening to your media tell you what to do, how to think? They keep telling you the same thing over and over again to where you absolutely believe it. It's almost like mind control with them. And people just fall like grapes. People are going, I'm going to vote NDP party. I'm going to vote conservatives. I'm going to vote the liberal party. I'm going, what have they done? He goes, you don't understand politics. I'm going, but I understand corruption. And like I said, we have one trillion, three hundred billion missing altogether. To where and for whom? Let's remember, we got our magnetic field racing. As I'm running for premier, you're going to hear me talk about me wanting to build dams and where to put them, me wanting to build bridges and how to get people around Toronto better, me knowing how to fix things, get blueprints over for it. But when it comes to our magnetic field, we are really running out of time. We don't have much left. And when we build, we have to do it quickly. Or we have one choice, move over 14 million people to more and with all the refugees and everything coming in, maybe 17 million to scatter all across Quebec from what I'm gathering or where I'm going where I'm not telling you.
I wish everyone the best of luck either way. My future will continue. Whether you want it or not, we'll have to wait and see. But if you want more of their future, I can't help.